hard to get to where I'm at. Um, I'm proud of my I'm, myself. I'm proud of my accomplishments. That's right. And um, only thing I, I can do as a person is become a better person each and every day for myself. You know, and it's all about self-preservation. Um, let me live the way I want to live. That's what I say. Um, you live excellent. You, you know, you, you know, it's crazy. You, you it's, can't. it's crazy, Joe, that in our society, um, I surpassed the American dream. As a, and, I, and I'm a black man. I surpassed the American dream. And our, our youth and our young youth are taught, the young youth in today's time is taught to glorify drug dealers. Whereas I beat all odds and I beat the system and I got to where I got to not having to resort to doing anything illegal because my dad took those illegal chances and he did it for his family. And what happened to my dad? My dad ended up getting incarcerated. He done time. And with the skills that my dad taught me, I told my dad that when you come home, everything will be okay. And you still, be, you still will be able to live the same life. Actually, you'll be able to live a better life. So what happened was my dad left me when I was 16. He came back into my life at 21 and I gave my dad a great life. So even like right now, I made, Joe, I want to tell you the truth. I made a lot of smart investments. And, Talk um, to me about that, because they think that money Mayweather don't know, and he don't invest. Can you please elaborate? But, but, but Joe, last time but, I was with you in Dubai, but, but, you showed me a building, a skyscraper. In I know, York. Joe. But my and thing you, is this, Joe. I my thing is this. You see, the end it's not how you start; it's how you finish. So I like to show the end <sighs> results. I mean, I don't have to. Everything is not for everybody. Since since May, money Mayweather don't know a lot. And, you know, quote, unquote, what everyone likes to say. Um, why would I give my remedy on how to invest? Mm. So everything mm. isn't for everybody. So what I do is for me and my loved ones. So what I will continue to do is create generational wealth for my nephew, my nieces, and my children. Let me ask you a question, uh, Mayweather, because, I, I, you know, it's so much to talk to you about. But you brought up Pops. It seemed to me like maybe you were upset when he was training De La Hoya. Mm -mm. Is that true or you could care less? You was happy he had a job. No, no, absolutely not. You know, it's crazy. The other day, you know, I think, you know, it's all about giving back to our, to our people. Meaning, when I say our people, meaning other, meaning if you're Spanish, you black, giving back. So um, I was working with, you know, um, I got a I got a fighter, one of the best fighters out there today, um, Javante Tank Davis. Uh, right. You know I got it when he was young. I put him in a position. Now he's three time world champion, and it's another little kid that came up in my gym that grew up in my gym, um, Devin Haney. So he's with another promotion promotional company, but he's still a young black kid that's trying to become the next Floyd Mayweather or surpass Floyd Mayweather. So with me giving him pointers, once again, you got the media, those other people saying, uh, want me to bump heads with these young kids. And I'm not going to do that. There's no different from when my dad was training Oscar De La Hoya, I never cared. You know why? Because I know that my skills were second to none. If my dad was not with me, and he still was able to get a check and make great money. I'm proud of my dad. And I'm not like that. I'm not one that's selfish. I'm not one that's jealous. If my dad was still, if my dad is in a position to keep getting money, and he's one of the best trainers, if he's able to keep getting money, absolutely. I can't, I can't be jealous of Oscar De La Hoya when I know for a fact my pay-per-view numbers, uh, is the best out of out of any fighters in history. Uh, I've done the biggest numbers at the at at the gates, um, and we we can go on and on. And it's, it's not knocking Oscar, but by far, if you name any fighter from from the past uh, uh, at the present time, right now, 
nobody has done what Floyd Mayweather has done. Floyd Mayweather, fun fact, fun question. You can answer it or you don't have to. Yeah. They just announced Tyson is fighting Roy Jones. Uh -huh. Who's your horse in the fight? Who you think got this one? I think that we seem to forget about who's the pioneer of making exhibi exhibition bouts huge. I know, I know money. So, so right. Joe, so Joe, a lot of times we forget about certain things. Even back in the 90s when I was wearing, you know, crazy pieces that was crazy money back then. You know, and you was you was rocking, uh, you was rocking, uh, P Diddy was rocking, Jay Z was rocking, but in, in in the sports world, Floyd Mayweather was rocking, and I still was, I still was a part of the uh, hip hop community. That's right, you still are. So so, Mike Tyson or Roy Jones, who you think will win now in that exhibition? Uh, uh, I mean, I think that uh, it's gonna be very interesting. You know, I'm not here to say. Tyson's gonna win. I'm not here to say Roy's gonna win. Um, Are you gonna I'm, watch it? I'm pretty sure it's gonna be entertaining. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna watch it. Absolutely. I'll I may watch even, it. I, I don't know if I can go because I don't think it's gonna be in the audience at that particular time. But may the best man win. Champ, let me ask you something. And this, 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 this is a funny. Uh, do you have twenty wives, Champ? Twenty. Who? Twenty wives. Why? Like why? No, no, man. I'm just. I mean, like I you said, got a bunch uh, of friends or something, champ? Because every no, no. time I so, see you, you're the envy of all men. I mean, you come in, and shit look like you from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it real. One time I watch an Instagram, I open this shit up in the morning. You get the massage, and it's twenty chicks twerking on. I said, he is the fucking man. <laughs> like, yo, yo. Well, I, I just, um, my thing is this. Only God can judge me, Joe. That's right. You only got one life. That's so, right. No matter what, no, the thing is this, no matter what, even like you, Joe, no matter what you do, it's never good enough. It's a fact. It's never good enough for people in general. Mm -hmm. um, you, can, you can give a person a shirt off your back. They're going to be like, well, I want your pants, too. You give me your pants, they're going to be like, I want your shoes. You know, if you give them a car, they're like, I want your house. If you give them your shoes, they be like, if you give them a car, they're going to be like, well, I want the house too. That is a fact. But guess what? The thing is this. Even if you give it to them, they'll lose it all. You know why? Because they're not you. They have to be able to maintain it. They don't have the same hustle. They, they have to have the same hustle you got. They have to ha have the same drive you got. So Let me tell you something. We came up from nothing. And before I rap, I used to hustle. And I used to make a lot of money in them streets. And we had a crew. And they all thought they made money like me or they all was with me. When I rapped, I retired like it was a movie. Like I left the game. I actually took a pay cut. So I didn't want to go to jail for like, but I <laughs> gave it to these guys who kept telling me that, you know, they just shit, they lost it all in less than six months. They turned into bums and started selling their cars. And they turned into bums. They, you know, and they don't know how to get money. 